Hello world of YouTube and welcome to day 31 of Vlogtober. It's the final day of Vlogtober today and they say things me. They say things me. It really does. I tell you what? It's been a good month. It's been a good month indeed. This really has inspired me to film more. I'm happy about that. I love when I'm productive on YouTube for you guys, you know? I actually did a discography review. I hadn't done one in a year. I did some updates. I did a bunch of shit. You know? We're all... All good projects must come to an end. Eventually. And we're gonna have one more conversation topic for the day. Which will happen, of course, after I consume my breakfast goods. I'm gonna go buy at the, uh, the Dunkin' Donuts I frequent because I'm a regular there. They know me. They know the hat. They know the green hat guys. They're green hat guys. Uh, I'm, I'm just now waking up like not too long ago. It was 9.50. I have a couple hours before I get to class. That's what I was trying to say. So, it'll be good. I don't know if I have plans today. I have potential plans to hang out with Josh if they get in contact with me between now and uh, later. It's not necessarily a, a guaranteed thing. So I may be with them again, but if not, I'm going to be home editing shit and making shit. Because I, I need to make... I still need to make the update video for November and December. I need to make the re-intro for the channel, which the re-intro will go up on Friday. And the update will go up on Saturday. Because I already have three Let's Plays going up today. Um, I have the... Uh, or tomorrow. Neither of them are going up today. The re-intro is going up tomorrow. And the... Uh, What's the thing? He's going up on Saturday. So, it'll be... Because I have the Let's Play going tomorrow. That's what I was trying to say. I'm trying to get out. And I have a new Let's Play starting tomorrow. To replace Zombies and Neighbors. Because we didn't beat it. We got... We stopped. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That's what's happening today. But either way. I'm going to get on the road. I'm going to keep driving here. I'll see you guys. With the breakfast good. This is all the gag for a little while. I'm sad. So I've consumed my goods, my breakfast goods, and I'm headed, still headed to class, but uh, before I divulge any more, it's time for the one last conversation of vlog October. Hit it me and post for the final time this month. Conversation. Definitely rhymes with the shocking persuasion. Doesn't really rhyme with the barrel of monkey fetuses. But that's okay, cause it's a conversation. It's a conversation in my car. So, today's conversation topic of discussion. Halloween memories. Let's share some. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys all celebrate Halloween where you're from, but um... We do here in America. It's a pretty big thing. And I remember a few things from Halloween. I wish I remembered more of what I dressed up as, but I don't. Cause um I don't know, it just there's a lot of there's a lot of things that I don't remember costume wise, but I remember what I did some Halloweens. Like I remember when when we lived in Seattle. Halloween was a really big thing in our area. Like, we loved Halloween a lot, and that's because the guy that my uh, my mom was with at the time, the guy that I pretty much looked up to as a kid for because he was there for the longest, Michael, uh, he loved Halloween. Halloween was his holiday, you know? And every year, he would make a haunted house, and it was, like, a big thing in the area. Like, people loved coming to our haunted ha to our house because we had a haunted house set up. And, um... It wasn't like our actual house. Essentially what he did was he made one in the yard and like 
it was it was like pretty basic setup. It was like a bunch of boards, tarp, um, and what made it scary was the environment inside. And it was really well put together. Like it was fog, strobe lights, ambient music, uh, subtle things to pop out, a couple of big things to pop out and scare at you, some things to feel, all that sort of stuff. It got you in the mood for Halloween, and it was cool. Um, I remember one year we uh, he had the he had the thing set up, and he scared a lady so badly that she fell through the walls of the tarp. And they had to hold up the line that they had so that they could restaple everything and get it all back together um, once they got the lady out of there. And it was, it was funny. It was one of the funnier moments um, from that. I remember one year when we lived in Seattle, this guy got us really good. as the worst scare I've ever had for Halloween. Um, <clears throat> the, the guy was just dressed up as a headless figure but he looked like a fake sta he looked like a fake plastic statue and when we reached Red Tree's Candy he like legitimately like jumped out at us like it was like it was like subtle but he jumped out at us like it was it was because it was subtle at first he was like slowly moving and then it was just like a jolt bolt but he didn't like go any farther and it was scary it was creepy it was good it was a good jump it was a good scare it was a good scare it was a good that guy um yeah, Halloween's in Seattle were the best. Um, <clears throat> I remember one year we went to this house and the lady made us dance for candy. I hated it. <laughs> like she was making kids do stuff for candy. I was like, what? What are you doing? I dressed up for you. That's where the candy comes in. Why are you making people do more things? And I saw this lady uh, on, I saw this like p picture on this like, I guess big post on Facebook. I don't know how big it got. Of this woman who typed up a letter saying she wasn't giving out candy. It was like a note that she gave out as opposed to candy. And basically calling kids fat. Parents are stupid for making their kids go and get candy. The fuck kind of insensitive person is that? Like, it's it's Halloween, lady. Not every kid is fat, first off. But also, where the fuck do you get off by giving away a note for Halloween saying, eh, you don't need candy. Do some push-ups, fatty. Like, that's fucking rude. That's really fucking rude. You fucking douchebag. I hate people that do that, man. Like, the candy apple... That's the new candy apple low. You went lower than can, than candied apple, or than just apple, lady. You made, you made a letter calling kids fat. Do you feel proud of yourself? I know you're never going to watch this, lady, but... Really? 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 Like, I've... I've the worst I've ever gotten for Halloween was a coupon for fucking McDonald's like that which is pretty bad in retrospect but where do you get off just writing a note saying I'm not giving you candy because you're fat like that's just so mean that's the meanest thing you can do for a child other than just verbally assault them as a gift or physically assault them as a trick-or-treat thing that's rude that's worse than getting a rock because the rock doesn't insult you but, yeah, I don't know. Memorable costumes that I went as would probably be Tommy for the White Ranger, Power Rangers. I went as him for one year. Um, I went as Jason from Jason X one year. I also went as Jason from the last year of my trick-or-treating, which I still have the mask. The mask I used for... Uh, some skits, that is that is the mask I wore the last year I went trick-or-treating. It was years ago, back when I was in high school. But I was at that age, I was like, you know what? I'm going to stop trick-or-treating this year. And uh, that was the year I got the coupons for fucking McDonald's uh, from one of the houses I went to. And it was, it was interesting. I've been the guy that gives out candy a couple times, which is weird. It's weird to do. Like, I remember one, one year, this kid, these kids went out the first year of trading, and they were so scared. Like, I wasn't dressed up as anything. I was just, you know, me, my, myself. Um, but, like, these kids were so scared, and it was so adorable. Like, they came up to my door, and they were just, like, shaking a little bit with their bags. And, like, their parents weren't far, but they weren't, like, right up at the door with them, which I guess is, you know, what you should do. I don't know, just tell your kids it's okay to go to people's doors, but, um, yeah, like, they just, 
They were so adorable. I remember all oh, that same year, these four teenagers dressed up as terrorists and pointed their guns at me and demanded I give them candy. Can candy candy. So I don't know. I like doing both. I like getting candy and giving candy. I remember one year when we lived in uh, Twin Falls, Idaho. Um, our neighbors. It was the best year for candy for me. Um, our neighbors gave me the rest of the candy they didn't give out because they were friends with my parents. And um, so, like, I went out and did my trick or treating thing. But then I came home and I got all of their candy as well. And they had, you know a decent run with kids, but they had a lot of candy left. So I had like our bowl that was left, their bowl that was left, and my own candy. That's like the best Halloween ever. Like, I've had uh, years where I go with friends and we split the candy, but like that was the best. And I didn't go with any friends, and I got three batches of candy. Oh, it was the best. You wonder why I'm tubby? In years like that, it was the best. I love Halloween, guys. And I, I don't really get to celebrate it anymore. Like, um, once Michael left, uh, we didn't celebrate Halloween much. Like, I still went trick-or-treating, but we didn't do much. You know, that's when I was living in Mississippi and stuff. And, you know, we, didn't, we just didn't do much. And so, the past few years I've done stuff like last year I didn't do anything or year before last I didn't do anything but three years ago I did some, 2010 I did something in 2012 I did something both of my costumes were lazy so until I'm with uh, until I do more like until I have more money my costumes are going to consistently be lazy like back in 2010 I was Hannibal Lecter but I was the laziest fucking Hannibal Lecter you could ever be like I just look like a guy with spaghetti sauce in his face it was really fucking bad and what's funny is I have friends who put work into their costumes like um I know Tiffany tries to put effort into her costume she usually does she puts some pretty good effort into her costume and I like that you know um I haven't had a Halloween with Tiffany yet but that's That'll be even more motivation to do something with myself on Halloween because she puts a lot of effort into it. Um, Shake and Amber do stuff for Halloween. Like, they do hair costumes. They do a couple costume thing. Um, my friends Alex and Molly, they do stuff. Devin does something with her costumes. Like, they actually put effort into it. Like, uh, last year, I know Devin went as Jade from Mortal Kombat and... Molly went as Molina. They like did a, a similar costume ordeal. Alex went as um as Deadpool. They had like a Deadpool bodysuit. Um, Amber and, and Shake were Scott Pilgrim and Ramona. Funny, funny because they had the Scott Pilgrim outfit together, but they did that. I know Shake's done Ellis one year. Like he went as Ellis, which I bought him the shirt for it. Um, and he still wears the Ellis thing, like, just around, which is great. Um, I know this year, Shake and Amber are gonna be Splicers, which is cool. Like, they're, they put effort into it. Me, not so much. Last year, I went as homeless Batman. Like, I wore a cheap Batman mask, my Batman shirt, and a sign, a cardboard sign. That says, we'll fight crime for food. And, yeah. I put that much effort into my costume. Because I, I, I don't have money to go around shopping. I've let alone money for like a costume. I don't. I, I just. I can't. I can't do a costume. I can't shop for one. Maybe next year. Definitely next year. I'll be doing something for Halloween. Something for Halloween. But yeah, that's the conversation topic. Halloween memories. What are some of yours? Some memorable costumes, some great years for candy. What have you been doing for Halloween the past few years if you're an adult? What are you doing for Halloween this year? Life questions with Viral Rack. Um, but I'm going to go. That's the conversation topic. The last conversation. Um, I'm going to head to class now, take a midterm, and head home. And do stuff. But I'll see you guys throughout the rest of the day. So if you want to see the funniest video you'll see that was made today, maybe, possibly, most likely, uh, go watch Link584's contribution 
to Spooky Fest on its monitor's channel. It's really funny. I play a part in it. Uh, it's got zombies. It's got demons. It's got pugs. Cool little pugs. It's got, it's got it all, man. It's got it all. Plus, it's got Link584 and a sweet dodging skills. So go watch it. Uh, they contributed to Spooky Fest, and I'm thankful. Shake's thankful. They, they contributed the sole contribution to Spooky Fest this year was them. Um, hopefully next year we get more going on uh, with Spooky Fest 2014. Uh, more people contribute. Uh, we'll announce it sooner so that way people have time to prep for it. Um, it was a very last minute thing, but we do want to do it again next year because we like the idea of doing this. So if you liked the idea and you didn't get to do anything, there's always next year, but Link 584's contribution was hilarious. Um, to go watch it. It was a live action skit, which I don't think either of us were expecting a live action skit uh, as a contribution, but it was good. It was good. It was good. I played a newsman. It's good. It's good. Go watch. Go watch. You have a good time. Good times. Good times. I'm gonna head home. And I'm on my way home from class. And I'm gonna be uh, making videos when I get there. Why are we stopping? The topic is bad. Go get it! Go get your toy! Go get it! I'm home. So not only did to Monitor put up uh, a contribution to Spooky Fest, they put up a skit. Wexdorn actually did a small Let's Play that he told me about, but I didn't think he had time to to do. It's of it's of the WiiWare title Zombie Panic in Wonderland. It's a very very strange game for the Wii, but it looks kind of fun. It's very weird. Um, it's like an on rails shooter arcade style game where you kind of just shoot zombies and a bunch of different monsters. Think Rock of the Dead without the guitar and with an even weirder story featuring storybook characters. So linked in, his, in the description are Wexdarn's skit and uh, or Wexdarn's let's play and Tamander's skit and Bronx. Not coming down? Come on! Come on down! There you go. She's home. I'm making dinner. It's boiling water. For pasta. I'm watching Shake's vlog while tumbling and saving vlogs. So the rest of the vlogs, except for yesterday's, are going up right now, which is good. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Um, I'm about to sit down and film the um the reintro for the channel because it's not going to be as skit filled as the last one it's going to be a bit shorter going to kind of sum up everything together in one nice neat little package it'll still be kind of skit ish but not as skit filled as before um so that's what's going on it's currently 10 o'clock watching shake's vlog from yesterday because he vlogs every day since I've shown that in the vlog, I'm kind of talking about that now. He's vlogging more than Vlogtober. He's doing every day for a year. I'm just vlogging for Vlogtober to compensate for for Spooky Fest. But that's over today. The last condemned went live. Um, along with the other people's Spooky Fest contributions, Shake finished up his Luigi's Mansion today. Um, Spooky Fest is just coming to a close, guys. We just come to a close, you didn't make sure you see this. And we move on. We keep going. Um, I'm, I'm 
brainstorming spots to film the next car or the next update video in um because i'm running out of spots i filmed in here i filmed on the bed i filmed on the desk i filmed in the closet i filmed in the bathroom i filmed in the basement i haven't filmed in my studio i may do one in the studio that sounds like a good idea but before that, I'm going to film the uh, voting video uh, before I do my update or the reintro. I'm going to film the voting video for the People's LP because it's ending in a few weeks. And I need to get on that. This is the People's LP. Yeah. We should guy. What do you want, Mixie? Want an Evans? Want an Evans? I'm feeling really shaky right now, and I don't know why. Kind of jittery. I feel like Cosmo Kramer. Yeah, yeah, Jerry, Jerry. I can't do Cosmo. I can't do his voice, but I love, I love Kramer. Seinfeld's a great show. If you haven't watched it, I don't even remember talking about my love of Seinfeld. It's a really great show. Really good sitcom. That Seinfeld. Oh, Inga. Oh, Inga. This is gonna be a long vlog today, folks. I'm ending it strong. Hello world of YouTube, it's that time again, time to replace one of the games that is the People's LP. So it's currently 11.30, I filmed the voting video, which is a little too long for my fancy, but I'm not going to edit it tonight, I'm going to edit it tomorrow, but I'm going to end today's vlog, the last vlog of Vlogtober. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this experience, you enjoyed seeing me vlog every day in October. I apologize for the spotty upload schedule after a while. School did get a little hectic for a little bit, but um, hopefully you like this. Um, be expecting this every year because I'm going to be doing uh, Spooky Fest every year, so Vlogtober is going to happen every October now, which is exciting. But, yeah, that's happening. Hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. The Carver Station topic of the day was Halloween memories. Share some of yours. What did you do for Halloween this year? You saw what I did. I did jack shit. But I'm going to go. You, I have been Viral Rack. You guys are good days, last in situations. And I won't see you tomorrow, but I'll see you another day.